about okay so what is an arithmetic mean an arithmetic mean class is average if you know how to get average exactly the arithmetic mean or you know in your past grade levels you discussed already the statistics about the mean the median and mode okay so in getting or in solving the mean of a of ungrouped data in statistics this is the formula arithmetic mean or the mean okay and if we say mean or arithmetic mean we are pertaining to average or averaging okay meaning you add all you add all and divide it to the number of the participants so for example arithmetic mean here the formula is x plus y all over 2 or a plus y all over 2 why is it that it is 2 because there are only two terms so for example we have here a sequence which is 2 4 6 3 uh, terms of sequence we have 2 4 6 and can we say that this is an arithmetic sequence yes because the pattern is by adding plus 2 and if you say it is arithmetic sequence we are talking about the operation of adding or subtracting okay so this is an arithmetic sequence so you if they say or if the problem is you solve for the arithmetic mean what will you do okay you just apply the formula x plus y all over 2 meaning how many terms we have three three meaning you will divide it by three three and then you add the terms which is two plus four plus six that is how we solve for arithmetic mean okay. geometric mean we have here two four eight sixteen okay can you say that this is uh, an arithmetic sequence okay it's not why because arithmetic sequence is we are adding but in here if you get the pattern it is by multiplying two if you are multiplying two it is already geometric sequence or if you are dividing 4 divided by 2 is 2, 8 divided by 2 is 4, 16 divided by 2 is 8, okay. So vice versa, multiplying, going to right, dividing, going to left, okay. So that this is a geometry sequence, 2, next term is 4. Now, we will do this formula, okay. okay. If mean or if B is the geometric mean, this one, so B raised to 2 is equal to, this is A and this is D, A, D. This is A, this is D, A, this is D. B raised to 2 is equal to A times D, B raised to 2 is equal to 2 times 4, 2 times 4. This is A, this is D, A times D. 2 times 4. Okay. 2 times 4, it is 8. eight. And then B raised to 2. What will you do? You extract or you cancel or you take off the exponent. Because we are just solving or looking for the value of B. And the value of B is the mean already. If B is the geometric mean, it says there. The exponent 2, you square root. Okay both sides so b raised to 2 okay the square root of b raised to 2 is just cancel the square root thing and the exponent the remaining one is b and now the answer is the square root of 8 the mean or b is the square root of 8 or 8 Okay, so that's it. Approximately, the square root of 8 is 2.828 plus. Meaning, the mean or the geometric mean is 
this one or this one or simple way you get the factor you get the factor of a having a perfect square number so what do you think is the perfect square number that is if you multiply it to any number the answer is a can we use four you get factor four is a perfect square and i can multiply two four times two is a so i just get the factor of a so we write it b is equal to the square root of four multiply to two or four times two because four times two is a now can because they are separated already can we square root four or is it a perfect square yes what is the square root of four it is two okay because two it is not a perfect square copy remain so it is the square root of two meaning two times the square root of two same here two four eight okay what is the geometric mean of the sequence two four eight you will, you will write this one or you write this one okay it is b a while ago we we just have two terms that is why b raised to the power of two two terms but if we have three terms three terms because there are one two three three terms we put b raised to the power of how many one two three b raised to the power of three is equal to multiply all of them two times four times eight two times four times eight it is 64 and it is b raised to three now to cancel class three a while ago we cancel two as the exponent now we cancel also three as the exponent of b because we are just looking for the value of b not the value of b raised to three okay so we just use again square root thing but now it is not square root already it is if it is three it is cube root if it is four it is four root if it is five it is five fifth root fifth root sixth root seventh root eighth root it's higher than two we write the root here so because you you read this one as the square root of b raised to three but we are canceling three they are not compatible so you write also three here so that we know that that is a cube root so here also is three so meaning the cube root of b raised to three is cancel that one cancel the answer is b is equal to what's the cube root of 64 that's it the cube root of 64 is 4 how because 4 raised to 3 means because the if you will uh, do the exponential way of writing the 64 it is or 4, 4 raised to 3 because 4 4 raised to 3 is equal to 4 times 4 times 4 1 2 3 3 4 4 raised to 3 is equal to 4 times 4 times 4 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 it is 64 or one thing is the what we did here it is the exponent is 3 and it is cube root we can cancel cancel remain 4 that is why it is 4 that is geometry mean